Normal or vaginal delivery is a process in which a pregnant woman delivers her baby through the vagina. Vaginal delivery is considered the most common and preferred method of delivery because the risk is very low for both the mother and the baby. Approximately 80% of births in the world occur through normal delivery. Let's see how normal or vaginal delivery happens. Vaginal delivery occurs approximately during the 37th to 42nd week of pregnancy. The position and condition of the baby are first checked for normal delivery. If the baby's face is towards the cervix and the baby is healthy, then normal delivery is recommended for the mother. Normal delivery is divided into three stages. Number one, labor stage. Number two, birth stage. Number three, placental delivery stage. During the labor stage, the pregnant woman's uterus begins to contract after some time, which causes pain in the abdomen. The cervix, which is the end part of a female's uterus, begins to dilate or open. Then the vagina, which is the birth canal, begins. When the cervix opens, the baby's amniotic sac bursts, and the fluid leaks out through the vagina. The process of uterus contraction continues until the cervix widens up to 10 centimeters. In some cases, females are given doses of oxytocin to help the cervix open easily. The time period of the labor stage can vary from female to female. For first-time delivery, the time is usually 8 to 18 hours, and for second and third delivery, it can be shorter. When the cervix widens up to 10 centimeters, the next stage of normal delivery, which is the birth stage, begins. During the birth stage, the female's uterus contracts strongly due to hormonal surges, which pushes the baby out. The female is asked to push more, and the baby's head begins to move towards the birth canal. The baby comes out in stages while the female pushes. During this time, if the baby's head does not come out, minor cuts may be made in the vagina to make it easier for the baby to come out. Sometimes, suction pumps are used to attach to the baby's head to pull it out. When the baby's head comes out, the female feels strong pain due to vaginal muscles stretching. The gynecologist then pulls the baby out by holding its head and twisting it slightly. After delivery, the umbilical cord connecting the baby and the mother is cut. The last stage of delivery, which is the placental delivery stage, then begins. The placenta is an organ that is formed during pregnancy, and it exchanges materials between the mother and the baby. During the placental delivery stage, the gynecologist instructs the female to push more to remove the placenta. This completes the process of normal delivery, and the mother is then given her baby to feed. Thank you.